Hey guys, welcome back again to another Zeal Cigar Review. We already started cut, light, and... Smoking these. Yeah, because I wanted you to go look at our shorts. Uh -huh. Go down below and look at our short videos, and you can actually see what we did with these cigars, and why we didn't want to cut, light, and smoke today, and why we already did, you can check it out in the shorts below. But, all that said, today we're talking about two different cultures that both of us come from, from Ohio to Arizona, and the difference between those cigar cultures. All next on the Zeal Cigar Review. Oh, we're talking just about cigar culture. Just about cigar oh, okay. culture. Well, I mean, it's, it's culture in general. Video. <laughs> it's culture in general, but it's, you know, we are about it's, cigars and everything like that, so. I had a point to that, because you kind of jumped me on it, but okay. it's kind of funny that how cigar culture can kind of play out to what the culture in the area that you're in 100%. is like. 100%, and you're going to find that out as we go through these five differences between Ohio cigar culture and Arizona cigar culture. But well, both of us come from Ohio. Uh, that's where I was born and raised in Cincinnati. I went from Cincinnati to Columbus to Arizona. And uh, where were you from? Tell so me originally from. was born in Springfield. Okay. Um, grew up about half my life there. Mm -hmm. Then went to the uh, Akron area in Medina. Okay. Lived a little bit there. And then uh, came back to the Dayton area and finished out like a uh, high school and college. And then okay. went to college in North, uh, the Northwest Ohio around uh, Tiffin, mm -hmm. uh, Heidelberg University. And then also came back down to Dayton and was in Wright State. And then now I'm I didn't ask for a book. I just kind of wanted to know where you're from in general. <laughs> I'm from a lot of places, bro. That's what I'm you, getting at. You are. You're from. You I didn't. Multicultural. So like, multicultural. Because, well, like, for you, for example, like, uh -huh. when you say you're from Cincinnati, like, you grew up mostly in Cincinnati. You mm -hmm. went to school in Cincinnati. It's true. So, like, true. You're, you're pretty Cincinnati rooted. Your family's yes. all in Cincinnati. Yes, I am. Yeah, um, I'm rooted, rooted and grounded. I'm a little you're kind bit of, spread out more. You're kind of, you're kind of a mutt. I'm a yeah. purebred. I'm yeah. a purebred. You're a mutt. Pure okay. <laughs> we, we, we find that lots of different people have different cultures when it comes to cigar culture. I've smoked cigars in multiple cities around the country here, and I really do appreciate the cultures. We wanted to tell you five distinct differences between Ohio and Arizona. Now, some of you guys might call this East Coast, West Coast, but Ohio's really mm, Midwest. Yeah. It really is. So we're not East Coast and West Coast in this thing. We're just saying Midwest to Arizona. So the very first difference that we noticed is... Uh, typically in a lounge, in uh, Ohio, everybody knows everybody. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You walk in there, you see your guys, you yeah. know who they are, and uh, you know the guy behind the, you know, behind the, the, the cash register yeah. or the bar or what have you. You just know everybody. Well, yeah. and if you don't know everybody, yeah. you're one degree of separation from somebody or being related <laughs> or, to yeah, somebody. Exactly. You're somebody's cousin. Yeah. You're somebody's cousin. Are you, well, you're married you, to Uncle yeah. Jim Bob and you're, you're his <laughs> daughter's brother? What the f It's not really Jim Bob. It's more like... Uncle Roy. No, I know some you know, Jim Bobs. Bro. Or some or Russell or some, <laughs> some kind of nice Midwestern name like that. So but that that's kind of that that's kind of true. You walk in, you see people and so on and so forth. Yeah. It's a very and and if you're there, you're never a stranger because somebody knows you from do somewhere you, else. Do you think that now versus like uh Arizona, do you think that's because there's so few lounges in Ohio versus like here in Arizona, I can literally yeah. walk to probably two more lounges. Yeah. Just, just so you know, statistical fact here, Arizona has, Phoenix in particular, is the second largest city for cigar lounges. Atlanta's okay. number one. Atlanta's Ooh, number one. Atlanta? But they don't have the like the selection that we have. In Atlanta, it's a little different. They have like they'll have like cabinet humidors. Okay. With with like I'd say they have the like, 20, 30 cigar boxes there. And we have like walk-in humidors and then like smaller lounges and everything. But okay. Atlanta's more about like the big lounge and having a, a smaller don't... selection. It's very, very different cultures. But in, in Phoenix in particular versus the Midwest. Because it's so different. Yes. There are 70 lounges, 70 cigar lounges, 70 places to buy cigars in like 10 miles of here. It just is. Well, it's very, very high. Very, very. It's a weird market. It's a weird like. Well, it just is. It really is. What's cool about that compared to Ohio is, is like, when you go to Ohio, you're gonna see probably the same people come in and out of those lounges, right? Yes. Yes. Here in Arizona, you're gonna meet people yeah. that are just passing through. Right. People right. that come for right. six months. Right. People that are like, oh, I never come to lounges on this side of town. I've been right. smoking for 50 years and it's the first time I've been on right. this side of town at a cigar lounge. Yeah. And and then each one of those lounges have a different micro, right. Point, right. Like, you know, in Ohio, you, In Ohio, you go to the same place because there's maybe only one or two, you know, and uh, you, you kind of pick your... And in Phoenix, you might do the same thing, but that's because our cigar culture here is just really, really petty. You know, and everybody fights with each other. It's 100% true. Don't let anyone tell you different. With that said, though, culture here in Arizona is a little different because nobody goes to Ohio for vacation, right? 
No one's going back like, I can't wait to go. Nobody goes to Ohio for vacation. Lots of people come to Phoenix for vacations. I mean, uh, we maybe have, if you're like an insane football fan and you're just like, I got to go to Canton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Or I got to go to Cedar Point. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But not. But most people will go to like Arizona, Scottsdale, Phoenix, especially in the winter. Florida. It's really nice. Florida, Florida Beach. You know, California, something like that. Maybe Nevada, the mountains and things like that. But when it comes to it, you don't go to Ohio for vacation. So we have a lot more visitors here, tons of visitors here. Actually, so, and not to mention that, but we have a larger population in the city of Phoenix than in some of the smaller Midwest cities. Now, the population of Ohio is actually higher than the population of Arizona. Okay. The, the population of Ohio is like 11 million. Arizona is about 7 million. Last, last time I checked. So, it's a very different is that, population. Is that before the great California migration? I don't know, but I'm, 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 the, what did you call it? California what? The Cal- California, California migration, the Calif- California migration. I don't remember. It he was said real, it funny the other day. It was, it was like, like California migration because it was off. It was based off of like the Californication. Yeah, by Red, Ch- Red Hot Chili yeah. Peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, yeah, since so many people California moved here from migration. Yeah, t- so since so many people from California have moved here, uh, I'm sure it's kind of raised our numbers a little bit. But I, I think of the census in two, 2020, that's what it was, or something like that. So, anyways, that's the first one. The second big difference between Ohio smokers and Arizona smokers are. In Ohio in particular, and I do love this about Ohio, it's my home state and it always will have a place in my heart, but they are stuck in vintage country. They love their vintage brands like Fuente, Davidoff, you know, Monte Cristo, Romeo, the, uh, the, the, the old time brands, if you would. Oh, uh, the Macanudos, the Macanudo Cafe is oh, okay. all over the place. So, and you'll have them here, okay, but you're gonna have a, a much broader variety, typically here in Arizona, than you will in Ohio because Arizona is kind of a melting pot. It really is. There's multi, multiple different cultures. And I'm not saying that's not true of Ohio. I'm just saying like here, it, it's it's also like, I would say it, Arizona and Phoenix in particular used to be older and now it's much younger okay. than it used to be. Very, very younger. And in Ohio, you have people that have been there forever and have stayed there forever. Okay. Arizona is really kind of like, you know, we, we you know, migrate this way. And so we came here and a lot of people are imports from other places. And so you have multi- multiple cultures, and that plays into our cigar realm to where like, we're bringing in multiple different cigar brands because we have multiple different cultures and people from different cultures that like different things. Typically in Ohio, y'all like the same thing. Like everybody likes Buckeyes and the Buckeyes. Everyone likes a Buckeye at Christmas, which is like a you know Reese cup and a ball shape. And then everybody likes what? The Ohio State Buckeyes in Ohio, right? In Arizona, we don't really have any kind of loyalty to anything here, do we? The Cardinals, I, I, the Cardinals I, don't have a loyalty. Yeah, the baseball games are interesting because mm-hmm. uh, if, if if the Dodgers are in town, there's definitely more, more Dodger Dodgers fans. More Dodgers fans, you know. It's interesting. It really is. So, and Arizona's very, very new. Where Ohio has older traditions. Yeah, they've been there forever. The and roots so, like, are deep. Yeah, they really are. And so, very like, deep. your grandfather and great grandfather probably smoked some cigars, and you could maybe find the shop that they were at. They probably been buying the same box from the same shop for those right, however right. many years they were doing it. Yeah, for sure. Dude, it, Ohio is really old. You can find super old buildings. I, I got in Ohio. my hair cut by the same guys my dad got his hair cut at the end of the street. They were twins named Larry and Jim. One, I actually remember this so much. Uh, one of them went blind, so they would play tricks on me, and my dad would be like, "Oh, hey Jim, you ain't supposed to be cutting hair today," and he'd be like, "Oh snap!" But it would really be his brother who wasn't blind. But they were twins. He couldn't tell. <laughs> So, in, in that regard, to give you an example of Ohio versus Arizona, my dad and I had the same fifth grade teacher. Dead serious. My father and I had the exact same fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Ray. Yeah. Miss, we had the same fifth grade teacher. That tells you that Ohio's roots are... And I love Ohio, don't get me wrong. But in Arizona, it's just different. And Arizona's a very new... Like, Phoenix in particular is a very newer city. It really is. Mm-hmm. So... It just it started like growing and booming like it started a little bit in 86 and between 1995 and 2005 three to five hundred people moved here a day I mean it was crazy so much so that like all around us I mean we're the fifth largest city I think in America right now and all around us all around Phoenix uh, which includes Phoenix Metro it's like 4.2 million people Damn. It's, it's a lot of people it really is so they're call, therefore calls for a lot more variety of what people want in cigars and that's why you have variety okay that's why also why we you know we do what we do as far as cigars are concerned 
the third one is the biggest reason uh, for me that there's a big difference between Ohio and Arizona as it comes to smoking. Go for it. The weather, bro. Yes. Like, in Ohio, Ohio. Half, probably seven months out of the year, Yes. maybe eight, if you nine if you count all the rain, you're, you're trying to find somewhere to hunker down and stay warm or dry to smoke your cigars. 100%. And nobody, 100%. nobody really smokes in the house. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. unless you want to pay for, to have a room and have a fancy equipment set up and you got the exhaust set up and everything's good, you're either going to a lounge, yep. if you can, if you're close, yep. if, if, the snow, if the snow plows plowed the road that day. Right, 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 right. right. Or you're inside hunkered down in a garage or something trying to stay warm with a heater. Right, right. That happens, that happens all the time. So, uh, but in Arizona, we smoke twelve months out of the year outside. We just do. This, you know, this year was cold though, man. Yeah, it was. I, there I, were times I, I didn't want to sit outside. I had I, two I'll tell you this going. much: it's been unseasonably cold. We've said that in other videos before. But to, just to tell you, like, it was seventy-eight yesterday here, and we were yeah. just loving it. It was absolutely criminal. Did you? That's I awesome. Know. I mean, got a chance to ride the bike all weekend, and then today it's fifty degrees and it's going to rain. So, like, for us, that's just that's a shock to our system. We're not used to that. We're used to like. 75 to like 80 degrees all Making winter. My nose run talking about it. I know, right? It's crazy. Allergies are flaring up. People are getting sick. Our, <laughs> our birds' heads are falling off. It's been crazy. It really has been here for that. So, but that I would agree with Justin. That's the third way we, we could. When you're out here in Arizona, one of the reasons people move here is a lot of things we can do. We can do 12 months out of the year, and we can really enjoy it. So, uh, there are some things that like when it's really when it's summer and it's really really hot, even at night, like 90 degrees outside, we usually don't go outside and smoke. And if you do, and you're really dedicated. You usually have a mister on you, and it's not too bad. I just sit outside with misters when it's hot. Mm-hmm. It really doesn't really it really doesn't doesn't affect my cigar smoking at all. It doesn't. Right. Sometimes I can get it a little too high if I turn the the misters right. up, and it'll get the cigar a little bit wet. Yeah, yeah. But really, all it did is slow it down a little. To be honest. Well, speaking of cigars, what cigars are we smoking? We didn't tell you what cigars nope. smoking or anything like that. It's a trap. It's, it's, not, it's not really a cigar review. It's more like a cigar discussion today. So, uh, what are you smoking? Yeti Tracker Sun Grown. Yeti Tracker Sun Grown. We're smoking the Gordos. Uh, very, very, very good cigar. Got some really cool spice on it. It really does. Has this then really it disappears unique... though. I know. It it, it kind of gets up here. It gets woodsy and but that, that little I... cream cedar. Oh, it's really good. Really, really good. Yeah, this is a good cigar. Super affordable. Very, very good. I don't smoke this one often. Yeah, I love this cigar. All the Yeti trackers. I mean, you got glazed donut, chocolate donut, and then you got like maple bacon. Seeded, ooh, maple bacon. <laughs> it's not that sweet. It's not that yeah, sweet. No, no, it's no, not no, that no. sweet. I'd say like wood and cedar and like it's a sun grown cigar. It's got that typical sun grown taste. It's very, very good. Really, really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, check out the Yeti trackers. Number four reason why cigar smoking in Ohio is different than Arizona. This is a fun list for us. And I would say that is the gatherings. We can, you could call them the herfs. You can call them the gatherings, the bonfire pits. You can call them the potlucks if you're in Ohio. You can call them whatever you want to call them. But the gatherings of cigar smokers are very, very different. In Ohio, in particular, you're inviting everybody you know, and you're not vetting anybody because everybody knows everybody, typically. Or you're just so Midwest nice just invite anybody. Like, if your neighbor's there and he doesn't smoke cigars, well, he's going to tonight. He's coming with you. And you, he may not know any of your friend group. You may not know any of his friend group. But you invite him because you're in Ohio. And you're nice. Midwest nice. Right? Hey, do you guys like the casserole we brought over? Yeah, I do the thing where I put the cornflakes on the top. It's pretty good. All right. Be good now. Hey, tell your dad I says hi. Okay. But in Arizona, is it a little different, Justin? Yeah, I would say it's a little bit different. It's very different. It really yeah. is. Because... I mean, heck, I've lived in the same community for six years now, and half the people still don't wave. I'm telling you this much. Arizona is what I call California cold, meaning you don't really know your neighbors that much. Now, both of, I mean, I'm, I'm very blessed to have really, really, really great neighbors. I know most of my neighbors, and I could call them by name. They can call me by name. And we, 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 like, trade cigars for beef jerky <laughs> once in a while. Uh, my neighbor's a real big, uh, he has one of those... Uh, uh, dehydrators, so he makes great beef jerky. Any uh, uh, Traeger, is that what's called? The Traeger, dude. Traeger grill. You, yeah. Do we have the best dehydrator in the world out here, bro? Mm. It's called the, the sun, sun, right? So, <laughs> but uh, he's he's a great guy. So I I know my neighbors out, here, and that's rare to know your neighbors out here. Most people it, don't it know really, neighbors. Yeah. I've I've lived in two communities, mm-hmm. and uh, the first one wasn't very long, like maybe a year. Right. And right. Barely knew people in that community. In Arizona, in particular. If you're going to invite anyone to a cigar lounge or to hang out and smoke cigars with you in your friend group, you typically want to vet them. This has happened multiple times with me. 
and I we do it multiple times. We're meeting with people and so on and so forth, and we're gonna bring somebody. I'm like, you're gonna like this guy. He's cool, and this is why. And you have to give the explanation. In Ohio, that would never happen. You're just like, you show up with the you're New like, Zealand. Hey, Jim, Jim. Jimmy's gonna show up with me in the back of the truck. You cool with that? Yeah, nobody. You don't even ask if you're cool with that. It's like, you're like, oh yeah, come on out, Jim. How you doing? Tell, you, tell your mom and tell your mom and dad. I said hi. And yeah. then you're like, who the fuck is Jimmy? Right, right, and then right. Later, somebody tells you who Jimmy was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's who he is. But in Arizona, it's very, very different, <laughs> and you kind of vet everybody, you know, before, you know, you get there. So that's but, that's. But Arizona. I think that's the that goes back to like the first one with the lounges. It's like mm-hmm. everybody's one to two degree separation in Ohio. It is maybe three. It's true. It's true. Here, you're lucky to find somebody that like I went to high school with a girl that that uh, used to work for a news station out here. Her name's Cheerston. Uh huh. Um, she was a sportscaster for okay. a couple news stations out here, and I was like, holy crap. Somebody in Arizona that I went to high school with, and she's a newscaster? What the? Like, there just wasn't people out here that I, I yeah. knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, most people, it, it, to find a, a, an actual Phoenician, somebody who's born here and raised here, is rarer than rare. It really is. So when we find them, we're like, oh, you get the Phoenician. You're a Phoenician. Like I can't Dave, you're Dave Phoenician. and Quinta are both Phoenicians. Exactly. And we're like, oh, my gosh, we actually yeah. have Phoenicians at work And here. Dave's like, dude, I literally, like, ran these neighborhoods when they were cotton fields. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's cra- it's kind of crazy. Yeah, but it's it's kind of crazy because they, it's really it's really unique to find a Phoenician because they can tell you, like, just above us at Bell Road. Yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, really, literally, less than a quarter mile up the street. Uh, up until like I think it was up until the nineties, it wasn't even developed. It was past all that. cotton fields. Yeah, yeah it and, really was. And, uh, uh, citrus orchards. Yeah, and citrus orchards and cotton fields. So like literally, there wasn't anything up there. People used to off road up there and everything else like that. Go shooting right yeah, out Dave, there. Dave's like, you dude, know? I used to be able to walk up to the mountain and shoot, bro. Mm-hmm. Now I got to drive out to the desert. <laughs> it's crazy. Phoenix has really grown so much. So in in Ohio, you you don't have to vet the guests. In Arizona, you kind of want to vet them a little bit. I would yeah. say it's easier to get gatherings together in Ohio than it is in Arizona. Oh, 100%. Like, like if I was a shop owner in yeah. Ohio, I could probably get a huge event going at a shop in oh, Ohio yeah. easier than I could get one going in Arizona. Oh, yeah. And oh. I think some of that plays into the fact that there's just so many different shops here in Arizona. But it's also people don't know each other. And, and there's so also like, a lot going yeah. on here right. all the time. There is. Whereas, like, in Ohio, you're like, oh, snap, there's something going on on freaking Wednesday. I'm going, dude. I ain't been down at the freaking Moose Lodge for the last two months. It's a fish fry. The fish fry. It's a Midwest staple, like beer, ranch, and spend an extra 10 bucks on gas, drive 45 minutes to the nearest Olive Garden because they got free breadsticks. Yeah, it's a f- another fish, fish fry. Yeah, dude. Another fish, fr- fish fry. Crawdads. You guys in Ohio know exactly freaking what I'm talking crawdads about. this week. It's a fish fry. It's a fish fry. Have you ever been to a fish fry? Oh, yeah, dude. I don't eat it because I don't eat that greasy cat. I don't either. I don't either. But I've been in plenty of fish fries, yeah. So with that said, our fifth and final thing that differentiates Ohio smokers in that culture from Arizona culture is... Dude, just wrapping everything up to one big ball of just easier access to cigars. It, there is. There, there's so many different cigar places here in Arizona. They're, I mean, they're all over the place, and every city typically has cigar places here. They really do. So smoking out here is usually 12 months out of the year. There's, there's much more variety here. As much, Not everyone smokes cigars, but everybody knows somebody who smokes cigars here. Yeah. I would definitely say that. I would definitely say that. That's that's why we exist. That is, literally is why we exist. And yeah, why in, people o- in Ohio, it's more likely that somebody wants a can of dip or a pack of cigarettes. Or a pack of Redmond. Big old Redmond chal. Red. If you're from Arizona or you're from Ohio, please critique everything that we just said. Agree or disagree. How's your state doing? Yeah, how's these your state? Two? How's your state? How's your state doing? And uh, drop a comment below and let us know what you think some of the differences are between, you know, where you're at even and Arizona or where you want to be. You know, with that said, drop a comment below and tell me the other states that you think have major differences when it comes to smoking. With that said, guys, we're back to work, so we're out of here like last year. Peace.